All right, so while yours is cooking, I'm going to do some delicious buttermilk and blueberry pancakes. But I thought I'd also put a little bit of a zesty cottage cheese topping on it. So I thought I could get you to do that. Sounds great. Really simple. It's just got honey, lemon zest and the cottage cheese. There we go. There we go. There. These are yours. I'll give you a bowl. And you want me to zest that, uh, that, zest that lemon in there? Yeah, that'd be oh. great. Now what I'm going to do in a jug is I'm going to add my buttermilk. I'm also using Natvia, which is a really good alternative to sugar. It's made from stevia, a lot sweeter, but you can use it measurement for measurement. So I've got about a tablespoon of the Natvia into the buttermilk. I prefer the real thing, but you know what? Because I've tried some of yours, it actually is quite sweet. And if you, yeah. if you don't know the difference, it's, it's actually quite good. Look, I think if, you know, most of us do eat too much sugar, so we do need to be more mindful. And there's so many good alternatives in the market now. So if they taste good, why not use them? You mean I eat too much sugar? That's yeah, I was. I go. wasn't naming names, but... <laughs> I've, um, I've put about two tablespoons of honey in here. I hope that's not all too right, much. So for you. It probably would use a little less honey. Maybe just a tablespoon would be perfect. This will be delicious, Zoe. Don't worry. It will be nice and sweet. <laughs> just stir it around like that. It just comes together really well. It's beautiful. All right. I'm going to whisk up the egg, the natvia, and the buttermilk. Give that a good mix through. And then we'll just set that aside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my wholemeal flour. And I'm going to put that straight into my bowl. I'm going to make a little well. And then what I'll get you to do, do you want to mix that through sure, while I pour sure. this in? All right, so we just want to combine this. Obviously, with the wholemeal flour, we're going to have more consistency than obviously a white flour, but this is a self raising wholemeal flour. It'll have the chunkiness to it. Is that, is yeah. that what you mean? Well, we look, go. I mean, I like food to be whole food, so I like to get more out of the food I eat. I like to feel full from what I'm eating. That way, I eat less. But I feel better. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put some blueberries in here. Oh, sorry. That's all right. I'm glad you're not putting birdseed in here. These blueberries are nice. <laughs> there we go. I'll just fold them through. That'd oh, be great. fantastic. Now, I've also got some blackberries. The good thing about berries is all of them are so good for you. You don't have to buy the fresh, because frozen works really well as well. Perfect. That's ready to go. That's it's great. It's very thick batter, Zoe, but yep. that's what you want, isn't that's it? That's exactly what we want. Okay. So I've preheated the pan. There we go. Thank you. And I'm going to put a little olive oil in there. I can then, tell you, those pancakes in the oven are looking good. I've got to say, yours looks pretty fluffy. I think we're going to have a nice little pancake <laughs> feast after this one. <laughs> All right. And just a nice helping. There we go. Perfect. So they don't have to be beautifully formed. You know, we like things rough and healthy and delicious. Mm, so yeah. I'm going to let that cook. Yours is almost finished. We can plate this up and then we can compare and eat. Really good. So mine are ready to go as well. I just love the way the berries are just oozing out. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I love the way this is just baked in a tray like this. You don't have to worry about a fry pan. All right, let's have a look. I'm going to put the, uh, the cottage cheese zesty topping. And, you know, because it's pancakes, we will put a little bit more honey on it. Oh, look at yours. It looks fantastic, Zoe. It really does. All right, let's try yours first. Well, let me sprinkle a little bit of this cinnamon sugar on top. The mango looks amazing. It Just does. Just a little pop of yellow in there. Some maple syrup over the top because maple syrup is very good for you. It's low <laughs> in GI or whatever it is. <laughs> and it makes things tasty. And you couldn't have pancakes without maple syrup, could you? Well, it does seem a little traditional for you not to have it. It may seem a little excessive, I know. But this will be hot, so if you be careful. There we go. Cut through there. There we go. A little bit of mango in there. You know what? That, that texture-wise, it's really light and fluffy. And I'm actually quite surprised. It's actually not that sweet. So, you know what I mean? I can make it sweeter for yeah. you, Zoe. <laughs> we can fix that problem quickly. Yours look amazing. And you would not know, if you put that in front of me, apart from the cottage cheese, there's no way I would know that that's a very healthy dish. Absolutely. So there we go. Let me have a taste of that. Look at the berries. Mm. Oh. Mm, hot. <laughs> it's hot. Um, and I reckon that would be really filling. You know, one or two of these would be enough. I'd probably push myself and have the third <laughs> one, which you probably can't do. I think we've done really well, Zoe. Pancakes that are a little bit left of centre, a little bit wacky, but really easy to make, really tasty, very sweet if you want them to be, and lots of different ingredients. I think we've done really well. They can come in different shapes and sizes, but I've got to say, they both taste really good.